please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey Raptors, welcome back to the JMMS Raptors. Today is Wednesday, December 7th. Leadership Food Drive The food drive will be taking place on December 1st through December 16th. Food should be delivered at the commons before school. Non-perishable food items, canned food, box pasta, and uncooked rice would be preferred. You can see class with the most donations will be rewarded with the pizza party. Attendance Incentive Winners by Adelaide and Armando. Congratulations to Rocco S, Ryan T, Tobias S, and Isabella G. Michelle M, Naomi M, Noah S, C, and Olivia W. Josh S, Kayla T, Larry N, and Matthew S. Ethan R, Finley R, Jalen N, and Jada M. Alexander G, Aiden N, Case C, and David W. Congratulations to this week winners. <laughs> to this week. And remember Raptors, you win by filling out your weekly attendance form in your advocacy class. Good job, Raptors! Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day by Elia Tochin, Milo Peter, and Alexander Gutierrez. What is Pearl Harbor and when did it occur? On December 7, 1941, the Japanese armed forces bombed the Pearl Harbor Navy base on the Hawaiian island of Oahu. This attack is what made the USA finally join World War II. What does it remember? Honor and remember the ones lost. There were 2,403 service members and civilians who were killed during the attack. How can we, sh how can we show our remembrances? People can visit the site of the Pearl Harbor attack and put up flags to remember. If a person isn't in Hawaii, they can take a moment of silence and fly a flag to remember those who were lost. I really don't know. Thank, Thank you, you Raptors. Raptors. Hey Raptors, it's coming. The 90s theme dress down day attendance event is going to be happening on December 20th. Sign up start on December 5th through December 9th to choose what you want to do on this day. First to sign up gets first choice. You have a choice of a 90s themed dance in the gym, watch a movie in the music room, structured free time and board games in the cafeteria. Due to limited space, you may get your second or third choice. Sign-ups have been sent through your Student View email, or you can ask your advocacy teacher for help. Remember, there are some requirements to attend the end of the year activities. It's a privilege for students to participate in extracurricular and end of the activities, so these are the requirements of what makes you eligible. The behavior expectations will reset each quarter, so every nine weeks. Your total number of absences must not exceed five excused or unexcused absences in any given quarter. Students cannot have more than one office referral for a minor incident, things like dress code or tardies, in any given quarter. And students may not have any referrals for major incidents in any given quarter. Lunch Expectations by Chad and Armando. Topics. Line expectations, cafeteria expectations, phone expectations, hallway expectations. Number one, line expectations. Wait, did you see what happened there? She just pushed him into me. So we need to not push people and wait in line and take turns. Number two, cafeteria expectations. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. 
throw away your trash and shoot and you miss, just pick it up. It's so much easier and it's a lot easier for the hard workers that hop out of school. Oh my god, you guys should have seen what happened. Hold on, hold on. Before you say that, you need to make sure that you're sitting down in the cafeteria oh, yeah, because you're if right. you're standing up, it gets way too chaotic in here. Too true. Guys, 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 You guys need to use your inside voices. Number three, phone expectations. Hey man, you got a problem? Yeah, you got a problem with me, man? Stop. Do you see what's happening here? Not only are we fighting, but she's recording the fight. And I know we're allowed to have our phones out at lunch now, but we can't be recording fights without permission or reporting it to any adults. Disclaimer, violence is not in any way tolerated or allowed. No Chad or Armando was harmed in the making of this video. Number four, hallway expectations. So when you're going to lunch, you don't want to walk in the halls after the bell rings or eat lunch in the halls. Goodbye for now, Raptors. Have a great day, Raptors.